Hey everybody, Ann here, and these chickens are too big <laughs> for this little brooder. They have grown, they've got more feathers, and they are pooping up a storm, so it's time to take them outside. Oh my gosh, we got them lined up in here. There's one, two, three. There's one in the box. <laughs> At least one in the box. I was hoping to get them in here and close this off. And hopefully get the hens to lay in the filing cabinet. Look at they all want to lay in eggs. I'm just, I'm just going to let them lay their eggs. And then I'll put them in afterwards. I was hoping to do this before it started raining. But I may not be able to do that. I'm just dying to see how many chickens are in this nesting box. Oh, look at that. One, two... <laughs> At least two. I think there's two. Oh, good. She did hers, so... <laughs> Got that right on time. Uh, two, so... I don't know if there's another one back behind her. Thank you, chicken. Yeah, I've definitely been getting rained on, but the good thing is, is I got a bunch of laundry done, and I've got it hung up to refresh your memory. I just plugged this up. I plugged it up last night, and it was filled with water. Not filled, I mean about halfway. Put them in there. Use my beautiful hand wringer. I use this thing to, uh, you know, scrub out spots. Wring it out, rinse it, and then hang it up. I did a small load today, and the I, I think I added too much soap because I had to rinse it really, really well. And so I'm going to just go ahead. I know it's going to rain, and I'll let the rain come down and rinse them again. And then tomorrow it's not supposed to rain all day, so hopefully we'll get them dry. If not, bring them inside. I've got a clothes rack. Hang them, hang them on that and let them dry right next to the fire. Oh boy, I got in just in time. This laundry is going to get a nice soaking. All of the chickens have come up from basically down by the street. And they, they've sought cover here and there and everywhere. Uh, I wish I had been able to get those two uh, black or blue copper morans in the back of the van before it started raining, but I don't know, maybe it'll stop raining a little while later, maybe the girls will stop laying their eggs and I can get them back in there. It really is awful weather out there right now. In fact, I was so worried about the chickens I went out just to make sure that they were safe and they're either underneath the van or up inside the van, the roosters are underneath the tarp. So I think they'll be okay. Um, the good thing is, is it's not really windy and it's not cold. It's not cold at all. So um, there's nothing really else to do today. So I have started planting my garden and here's what I'm planting. Here's a screenshot of what I'm going to grow. And this is all that I'm going to grow this year. And I'm going to show you a photo of each one of them so that you can see them one by one. The first thing I'm going to plant is buttercrunch lettuce. It does well in cooler weather so I can plant it now and then once again later on in the season before fall. My cayenne peppers did really well last year so this is the last bunch that I haven't jarred up so I'm going to take the seeds out and plant them along with some other peppers. And these would be those peppers, jalapeno peppers. These are like jumbo jalapeno peppers. They call them big guy. I love them. You can stuff them so I'm looking forward to this. I've never grown early girl tomatoes, but I'm going to grow them this year. They harvest early, and then you can plant them again later on in the season in hopes of getting another harvest, so cool. I absolutely have to grow red and green sweet bell peppers. It's a staple. I eat a lot of them, so these are definitely going in my garden this year. This is something I've never grown before, sweet corn. So I'm going to try and grow it this year, and you're going to see why in a minute, because I'm going to be planting some companion plants with them, and it starts with these, green beans, big old green beans. These are pole beans. They're stringless. I love green beans. I eat an awful lot of them, and they will climb up the corn. And then I'm also going to plant some sweet peas. I've never grown these either before, but I hear they grow well in this climate, and they're easy to grow, and they climb as well. And next is zucchini squash. I'm not going to have to plant too many of them, but I love zucchini squash, so they are definitely going to go into my garden, as well as yellow squash. These are both summer squash, and I love the flavor of these. So, um, And you use them on the ground to shade the ground, and 
this is, well, it's yellow scallop, but um, I know them as patty pan squash. They are wonderful. You can pickle them when they're small, so delicious. This is what I'm going to grow out in front of my house. In the upper left-hand corner is the wild raspberry bin thing, and there's the pallet garden that I still need to fix, so I'm going to plant stuff in there. And then off to the left, I'm going to get some big bins because I don't have any other raised beds and plant tomatoes in them in the square raised bed in the middle I am going to plant jalapenos and cayenne yes all in the same thing I don't know if I'll plant that many plants but that's what I'm going to plant there and this is the side of the house I don't know if you guys remember but a couple years ago I built these garden beds I dug down deep a little bit and then I started layering them you know via the hugelkultur method and the wood wasn't completely rotten so I think it robbed nitrogen from the soil but it's been a couple years so that's probably broken down pretty well and the little circle one the blue one off to the right is that big white tub that I planted cucumbers in last year so now they're all going to be filled up with different things you guessed it I'm going to try the three sisters method of gardening now I don't know if I'm going to get all of this in all of these beds but first I'm going to plant the corn and then I'm going to plant the beans as the corn grows taller it provides a good support for the beans I will likely put the peas in the little green bed off to the left and then I'm going to plant the squash it will provide ground cover it will shade the ground keep weeds out and hopefully keep the the soil a little bit more moist so I don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna see and then I'm gonna plant in the little round one bell peppers surrounded by lettuce and I might be likely to plant a couple more buckets of bell peppers um, in between, we'll just have to see how much soil I have. But like I said, this is just a mock-up. I don't know exactly if this is the way it's going to look or if I'm going to have that many plants, but um, I'm going to give it a try, so hopefully it works. Man, there have been waves of just horrible rain. So I went out there just to look for the chickens to make sure they're all right. And they were all underneath the van, and I was able to coax them. Well, most of them, um, the, the original flock plus Mama and Patsy, up into the van coop. Oh, and that includes Splash and Raven. Um, close the door. They've got food and water. I was able to coax the, all of the Easter Eggers into their pen and gave them food and water. And the, the guys, the gentlemen, they're just out gallivanting in their pen, in their run, in the rain. But everybody's safe. Everybody's up in their coops, so whew, I don't have to worry about that because... It, it has been coming and going in these huge waves where we're in the red zone and it just comes down so hard and those chickens are so wet and I, I just didn't want the wind to pick up and then to catch a chill. So the two little uh, chickens are going to stay in here with me again for another night. Pew! I keep trying to clean it out, but... Um, and I've got a pot of potato soup. Well, actually, it's going to be clam chowder. And there it is. I got the clams, rosemary, thyme, sage, a little bit of basil. There's a uh, chicken bouillon cube in it. And these are sliced canned tomatoes. I'm going to just use the rest of them. I think I got three more cans left. And just let it go for a little bit. And then I'm going to add some powdered sour cream to it and some cheddar cheese, dehydrated cheddar cheese. Just let it cook. This is going to be the best comfort food. Whoa. Look at this, you guys. My whole front is flooded. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I'm up high. I don't think it'll come any further. I have never, ever seen it this bad. Whoa. Look. Oh my gosh. I've, I've got a pond, finally. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. This is absolutely insane. This whole area is flooded, and the street goes down this way, and then it goes down this way, and it all gathers right here. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. The roosters wouldn't go up in their coop. They're just obstinate. Um, at least they can get up underneath their tarp. I went and checked the Easter egg pen um, because I wanted to put them actually into the coop and keep them out of the run. And then I looked in the, in the coop and there was only three Easter eggers, so I panicked. I'm like, where is the other Easter egger? Well, apparently when I went to check the van, 
she was up in there laying an egg when I was doing a head count. So everything's fine. I've got a ton of eggs. I, I think, let's see, eight. Eight in the van coop, one in the Easter egg coop. Um, so I'm just going to go in and see if my clam chowder is done. This soup is done, and I'm sorry about the sound of the rain. Nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to give it a few stirs. I decided not to put the cheddar cheese in it because I didn't want it to be like potato soup. I wanted it to be like clam chowder. So I'm just going to stir this a little bit more and let it cool and give it a taste. It's still pretty hot, but I'm pretty hungry and I'm a little nervous, so I think eating this will make me feel better. Woo! Let's give it a try. Ooh, that looks good. Mmm. Mmm. Those herbs really did the trick. Mmm. I'm super glad I didn't add the cheese because the flavor of the clams comes through. Look at that. Let me try another bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Turned out great. All right, guys. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.